Congregational Care Pastor at Palmasia United Methodist, and welcome to this week's prayer cast. Thank you for your comments, your links, your shares, your clicks in response to our previous postings. They are appreciated. We're still, as the Christian church, in our Lenten journey, traveling with Jesus, walking with Him as He goes to Jerusalem, where we know that He will die on the cross on what in these days we call Good Friday. During my own personal Lenten journey, I've been reading a small book entitled I, Francis, written in the 1980s by Carlos Carreto, who wrote it in an autobiographical style as though he were Francis living in the 12th and 13th centuries, and as though he were Francis still living toward the end of the 20th century. I have been deeply moved by Francis' call for people of faith to become nonviolent, to speak of nonviolence, and to be apostles for nonviolence. For Francis, the first object of nonviolence was nature. In the book, it was written the skies, the seas, the mines, the forest, air, land, and the home. And we violated all of that, the forest, defiled the seas, and plundered all of nature like a bunch of bandits. And that our contempt for nature knows no bounds. I am guilty. Francis said in the book, and probably without a smile like I have on my face now, that it seemed a little late for him to be named the patron saint of ecology which John Paul II did in 1979. But because of how Francis spoke to me in my reading, and since Lent is a time of repentance and preparation and celebration for Easter, I'm taking a much closer look at my own life, trying to find ways to be more ecologically aware and just to find ways to celebrate and like seeing more of the grandeur of God in the simple things of nature. I would be happy for you to join me on this Lenten journey. St. Francis stands in my backyard near where I feed the birds and the squirrels, so he's going to be watching to see how I do. The prayer today is adapted from St. Francis, the Canticle of the Creatures. Let us pray. We praise you, Lord, for all your creatures, especially for Brother Sun, Sister Moon, and the stars, for Brothers Wind and Air, Sister Water, Brother Fire, and Sister Earth, who sustains us with her fruits, colored flowers, and herbs. Amen. Be looking forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. God bless. <music>